Look what it is. It's the Botany Bay. Yes, that's right. The darkness has arrived. The darkness has come. The new Augment faction is here. That is right. The Botany Bay is here. The uncommon three-star ship. Let's take a look at it in more detail. Look at the Botany Bay and, you know, what all the Augments have to do. So let's take a look at this. Let's jump inside. All right, so here we go. Here is the Botany Bay Uncommon Tier 1 3 Star plus 300% mining bonus for corrupted and decoded data. This is an amazing ship, 21,000 start. It is a survey ship. It is a sleeper ship which has been converted to a survey ship. Let's take a look at this in more detail, guys. Let's take a look here. It says, much like the crew that operated it, the Botany Bay is a relic from humanity's distant past built on Earth in the late 20th century. It was intended to be humanity's foray into deep space exploration. The vessel's engine utilized revolutionary nuclear fission technology. All right, so this is an amazing ship. Let's take a look at this in more detail. Oh, look at this ship. This is fantastic. The Botany Bay. Amazing ship right here. We really need this. So yeah, I'm going to tell you all about it and how to get it in a few moments. But I mean, just take a look at this ship. Look at the nacelles. I mean, look look at all this. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, this is a great ship. All right, let's get into this in more detail. Let's take a look at some of the details of the ship and the Augment faction. All right, so who were the Augments exactly? You know, they used to describe a group of genetically engineered humans, you know, created by advanced DNA resequencing in the mid 20th century. And now they've created this kind of space for themselves outside Klingon space, outside Federation space, outside Romulan space. And, you know, let's take a look at this in more detail because this is really cool. Uh, this wasn't here last week. All these systems, uh, all these new systems are here. And, you know, this is a really great way to kind of explore the galaxy. And take a look at this. Look at all these locked systems. So you can complete these locked systems uh, by doing missions and, of course, unlocking the new ship. So the Botany Bay, unlock the Botany Bay, and you do get access to all these systems. So, I mean, this is going to be great fun. Um, all these new missions to do. And, of course, you will need to mine um, encoded and uh, decoded data. So you will have to mine some of that. And let's take a look at some of these missions um, right now next. So we're going to take a look at some of the missions that you need to do to unlock the Botany Bay. And of course, don't forget that you can get, uh, for free at least, at least 36 parts. Um, obviously, if you keep logging in every day, uh, you can get more parts. But um, right now, you know, can you really get the Botany Bay without paying for it? Not too sure. But right now, we're going to take a look at um, some of these systems where you do get the missions and at least you can get free 36 parts out of the 60 parts. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so we have just made it to Armador in independent space, and these are some of the planets where you can do the Botany Bay missions and get the free parts. So as you can see here, there's lots of people here, and this uh, ex-UK um, planet. Let's take a look here. So you can do this quid pro quo mission um, right off the bat, all the, your ship has to be in the system to do it and look you can get the botany bay blueprint parts and you can get some pretty good uh, rewards too so you know definitely take a look at some of these missions some of these missions though you can only do uh, if you complete missions in armador midnight and lysa and um, other systems too so check out lysa as well do those missions and actually lysa is probably a good place to start but also here where you can do quid pro quid pro quo <laughs> and you can get those uh, botany bay parts so remember you can get the 36 free parts just by doing this uh, pretty much so i mean if you check out here right now as you can see i completed uh this mission and look at all the stuff i got it's pretty amazing after the events of star trek into darkness there's a lot we don't know about khan aka john harrison we know he's put back into cryosleep but after that you know we know very little about what happens to him afterwards. If you play Star Trek Fleet Command, you'll know and you'll get to learn the story of the Augments and, you know, what they come to represent. So these Augment missions really take you to the dark side of Star Trek. You will literally be asked to fight the Federation and gain the respect of the Augments. You will be asked to fight the USS Andover and many other Federation ships. Also, you'll be asked to help Khan, putting you in the firing line with the Federation. Don't worry though, as you won't lose any Federation reputation. The Augments are all about loyalty. Yes, that's right. Sometimes you'll be asked to choose what to do. Sometimes you'll have to take the technology by force, 
or other times you'll have to simply buy the parts. But this will slowly build your reputation with the Augment faction. Sometimes the decisions are ethical, other times they're simply easy. However, the rewards are pretty good. You'll get the Botany Bay parts as well as officer tokens for all those Augment officers. So that's pretty much it for now, but let me know what you end up doing. Whether you get all the 36 parts, or whether you simply want to do the missions, or whatever you want to do, let me know what you do. I'm really interested in the Botany Bay, and it looks like I'll be purchasing the Botany Bay Blueprint Pack. I really want to explore faction space and to engage in the new missions. Alright, that's it for now guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!